uh, these um, editors' all-time favorite destinations? Yes. <laughs> Don't these look good? World Travel Leisure Best Awards? Mm-hmm. Number one ocean cruise line. Yes. Number one river cruise line. Oh. <laughs> you know, whenever you get an award, mm -hmm, you really want to know who gave it to you. Poop. Now, um, I'd like to know uh -huh, the very best that's available to those that are uh, citizens of the world. Yes. Now, Steve Wynn and myself, we've really had some problems because I thought I owned that building. Yes. Mm -hmm. I remember when Horowitz stayed there and they really talked it up. Mm -hmm. They made sure that I did see that they were staying in Steve Wynn's Las Vegas Hotel and Casino. Yes. Could you get me the actual internet? Uh, internet. Yes. The internet connection to every slot machine. Yes. Every place where it's electronic, because when I was doing my Bible study this morning, yes, it was. I had a very unique experience. It was, well, it was almost a trance. Yes, it was. And I thought somebody was going to put the 5G through the various casinos of the United States. <laughs> now, there's a possibility, and I don't know this for sure, yes, that the Chinese president, yes, decided that he had to control all gambling in the rest of the nations. <laughs> Now, there's what's known as the Macau Cow. Yes. And then there's Hong Kong. Oh, <laughs> could you get me all the winning, award-winning hotels? Yes. And casinos in Hong Kong oh. <laughs> and in the Macau Cow. <laughs> because somebody put the 5G through the casino. <laughs> now, I know Steve Wynn, okay? <laughs> See, I was a broker with Horowitz and Associates, if you was. <laughs> and they were mid-level management of the intelligence of Israel. Yes. You remember that election we had a few days ago? <laughs> I thought Gantz, uh, a former general of Israel. Yes. And Netanyahu were kind of acting like, hello, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> and uh, they were acting like they were running for the president or some other leadership position in Israel. Yes. You know, I have noticed that quite often if you go gambling, poop. And uh, you, you lose. <laughs> it's frustrating, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Just call Steve Wynn. Yes. And ask him if he personally knows Netanyahu. Yes. <laughs> and if he stayed over here at one of these luxuries. <laughs> now, I know. You're doing the old 5G on the casinos, aren't you? <laughs> now, I would say there needs to be a voter recount because it looked to me like the whole election was fraudulent. Boop. Now, I'm one of these American citizens that if I thought that the election, yes, was fraudulent, yes, it was, I'd demand a recount in Israel to make sure that the actual ballots were cast right now. <laughs> now, it's not that I don't want Netanyahu, Netanyahu being, <laughs> but I think that as a citizen of the United States, I have the enumerated right to look into the elections of each and every nation of the United States. <laughs>